Hello, all you folks out here in YouTube land. Grumpy Crocus Squirrel here with a lovely cat. Hello, everybody. I'm Grumpy Chew. Yeah, and there's a reason for that. Welcome to take two of this particular video. I am not going to say this name at the top. You guys can read the titles because, frankly, I haven't written a title. I haven't written. A, dank, a dark and dank enough title to make this video actually apply to it at all. So I'm going to watch the video afterwards, and then I'm going to tell you the freaking thing. Okay, so I got some games to show you. And pay attention, pay very close attention. Okay, here's our first game. Yes, I said this is our second attempt. I'll tell you why in a little bit. <laughs> Made with Unity Personal Edition. What could this be? I wonder. Oh! This is uncrowded. I actually had to go digging to find a copy of this game. Which is kind of annoying. Okay. Please note at the bottom what who made this game. It's called uh, uh, a lad called Kotak. I think that's the way it's supposed to be. Kotach. Single player. Started the game. We can play that game. And, and the world. Oh, loud. Well, that's loud. I'm gonna turn that down. I should not have. Alright, back to number four. Bump. That's that's right, folks. The most effective weapon in this game. I have to pick up the French fries. There are no drinks. Is a flashlight. Have to pick up a bandage. Click. That one even hit metal fragments on him. Or not. I don't need a single freaking bandage yet. Because reasons. Have to pick that up. The alternative name for this game is Death by Flashlight. Death by Flashlight. Also known as for those of you who are paying attention who have been paying attention to Ye olde asset asset flip community, which is about the only word about the only words I have to describe it at this point. Uh, you will all realize, wow, it got quiet all of a sudden. I wonder why. Ooh, is that shotgun shells? I believe so. Ooh, sniper rifle. Love those things. Okay. However, I don't particularly love this game. Why do I not love this game? Because, well, this game was our, this game was released on the Unity Store as a little starter bundle for everybody to like go get some fresh assets and go play for and, and play with it and learn how to make games, uh, patch up the, the what do you call it, uh, the the left in physics bugs, die die. Get Stay put! Stay put and freaking die! Yes, that's right, guys! Welcome to Unit Z! Because we already knew this was Unit Z. And I'm, gonna, uh, and I'm going to be thirsty to death here very shortly. Die. Really, zombie? I'm down on my head. I see how you are. Be able to get up there. Point up, point up, point up. This is it. Do we get to 
Nope, he does that. Shotgun ammo, fabrics. Who? Water. I have water. Yes. Fine. Yes. Put it here. And hit the E button again. Oh. Oh, that's what's going on. Ha ha! Great. That's just what I needed. Press 4 again. Beat the crap out of some creatures. Oh, it's, an, it's the Antifa zombie. We found the Antifa zombie again. How are you? Wow, that guy? That guy's got some problems. Water bottle. Oh, no, no, it's not a water bottle, it's water button. I have no idea what it means by that. Oh, there's another one. I found another water button. Okay, this is flashlight. This is Sparta! Flashlight deathmatch. It's a zombie flashlight deathmatch. Excuse me. Come get some. As cathartic as this is, again, I would rather not have dropped money on this when I could just go do the when I could just go do the thing and actually get it from the guy that put it up originally. Um, that's irritating in the extreme. I I find that very annoying, and it should not even be a thing that several different versions of this game were dropped off on Steam, unaltered. They're using. All of them, without exception. That one was put together by Kotak, and if I remember correctly, that was actually Uncrowded was actually the original version, or the original game that was put up on Steam this way. Uh, the original Unit Z clone, also known as a Project Flip. Well, actually, no, not a Project Flip. It's a Project Flip. Is a Project Flip is when one takes one's own game, throws new assets at it, and puts it right back out in the store. As something new for full price. So, our next game is one that annoyed me very nearly as much because many, 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 many reasons. Made with Unity Personal Edition again. Hmm. I wonder what this is. We don't know. We have no way to know, in fact. Here is our resolutions and the, qua and, and the quality. That's all there is. There ain't no more. No more? No more. According to the store page, this particular game was also developed by our buddy Kotak. Now loading. And that is loud. I'm turning that down. Okay. So, here we go. I found an X. Oh, good. The E button actually does work for something. It does things. Uh, that zooms. That jumps. I have no idea what it takes to swing this thing. None. That is the charge button. Does. None of the rest is the I cannot figure out what he does. Hey. So. Welcome to the clearing of town. I don't like this. I do not actually like the way this is laid out. For a number of reasons. Not the least of which is that it's what we, what we, what I like to, what I fondly refer to as a free fire zone. It's hateful. It is Noxious, that is a grave. I have no idea what that says. Can you read that there at the bottom, please?
Hold on. Stand by for one. Um. I know. I am actually. Okay, so we have Hungarians who died during World War II. That's a thing. That is a thing that happened. And okay. this is a pre uh, Orthodox Christian cross. Yes, I know. That is actually a thing. Hungarian, I don't know. Hung Hungari Hungarians are not Orthodox Christian. Oh, well that doesn't help. <laughs> that helps exactly nothing. They, they are... Uh, used to be all Catholic, but currently I can say it looking Catholic. Side to side hitty bobs! Absolutely. Can I crunch this? I should be able to. Because under here is a collision cop we can't get to. And it won't let me do anything here. So, um, yeah, the that's the district. The district of nothing else. Check that. Okay. I'm going to step this way just a little bit. I don't want you to tell me what you see there, Kate. What I see? Yep. What do you see? Right there in the snow. Right there on the snow? Yep. I'm, no. On the snow, right there where the crosshairs are. Actually, it's more proper to ask what you don't see. Okay. You see that shadow right there? And the way it moves? Oh. That's the axe. Hanging out there in the middle of freaking nowhere. <coughs> the shadow went out up there? What? The shadow is up there? Yeah, that is, that is the shadow of the axe. What do you not see? What should you be seeing that you're not? You. There is no player. No player. Oh. We have... no. We do not cast a shadow. We are a friggin' vampire or a ghost. Either way, don't care. Not important. Alt F4. That's the only way to get out of that game. And now... For our third abomination. Because this will actually, this will be the one that is much less entertaining. Uh, this is the game that required us to do the second take. And I am still mad at it for that. Okay. This game, according to the store page, was put together by a, by a, a developer and publisher called Tomadera. I have no idea what that means. It might mean something. It might not. Okay. Uh, there is a hidden achievement in here. We have to hunt down Pepe. So we're gonna not. We're gonna go. We might actually get that far, assuming, of course, that we can actually get it started without shit going sideways. Click. Hopefully, sometime today. I'd like that to be. I'd like it to be sometime today. I'm not counting on it. Are you doing the thing, or are you not doing the thing? What? Oh, there we go. Now we're doing the thing. Now, this one was done in Unreal. For reasons I don't. For reasons I don't get. He switched from this. This particular. This, this. This developer is working in Unreal. Options. Do not touch. Leave it alone. Okay. If you try to go full screen, if you try to go, it, it crash. Yes, it went. I, I tried to get it to full screen, and it went <laughs> and blew my shit up. I had to shut my computer completely off, unplug the freaking thing, leave it that way for about 30, 45 seconds, plug it back in, and then I could restart it. Okay, we go from head bobby wop, 
we go from head wobbly walking simulator thing 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 that was supposed to do. E pick up, rotate mode, move mode, space bar to jump, W, and we have the wazid, triangle or Y is to pick up, X and A to jump, what the hell is that doing moving around? Oh, shit. Don't hurry, listen. What? X or A to jump. So, it says don't hurry, listen. And I don't want any part of that. And probably, if anybody can tell what that is, what that light source is, they would probably know why. Right overhead. Loading. That's the end of the first level. Thrills. Chills. <laughs> this game is called Conclusion. Oh, I hear things. Wow, it went boom. Okay. Oh, you e. have feet. Yes, I have feet this time. Kind of a scary thing. My name is Neil. I'm 28. I'm on a fourth step. Of a rehabilitation program aimed at helping alcohol, dash, drug, and sexually addicted people. I wonder which this guy is. My thinking is, uh, for this guy, I'm going to suggest it might actually be booze. Because... Okay. Oh, yep. And I will never do these things again. I like to reflect, but I didn't quit drinking. Some times it is quite the opposite. Harder to remember who you are, who you were after a recession. Huge headaches. Okay, so this guy's a booze head, a booze hound. I didn't figure it was going to be sex. Mind you, I can turn and why his feet he, don't move. Why is he wearing a commando? Oh, he's wearing. He's not. He's actually just wearing a, a hunter's coat. Can I jump off of here? Okay. Nope, won't let me do that. It's just a hunter's coat and a crappy camouflage. And I don't actually have a sprint. I don't seem to have a sprint function. Yeah, no. No fast. This goes no faster. Wow. It's the Lusted Moose. And, right. There is no invisible wall here. I'm amused now. I don't know what's left, going on. You left the road and you're walking on frozen water? I'm walking on snow. Which Excellent. shouldn't surprise anybody given the last game. This is what Tom this is what Tomadera considered cool. And nothing happens? Uh it doesn't look like it yet. Now I have not actually played this game. Oh, it's a note. Let's pick up the note. He's a liar. He wasn't popular at school. Didn't have many. Didn't have much for talents or anything. Oh well. Uh, in high school, he figured out he could drink lots. Uh huh. Okay. Uh-huh. But the truth is, I didn't quit drinking. I always knew I wouldn't. I was looting my wife with false hopes that psychologists would help me. I swore to my child it was that it was the last time I frightened her. And every time I was coming back home from work, half drunk with a bottle of cheap booze. Ooh. He doesn't want help. Why he keeps looking at the... And his wrists? I don't know. He maybe maybe it's entirely possible he thinks he's wearing a watch. Okay. Either oh, way. Maybe. Because there is no watch on his wrist. No, there's nothing on the wrist. Now we're gonna go check the bridge and make sure we're gonna go check this bridge over here and make sure we didn't miss a note. Because apparently there might even be an achievement for that. 
Uh, hashtag dope. We didn't miss anything. So, conclusion. Walking simulator about drunk dude. Because we don't seem to have anything else here. We have nothing. Like, at all. Okay. Walking simulator about drunk dude. That doesn't want to scare his, uh, his three-year-old anymore. So, that would be game the third. And now we get to the piece de resistance. And after that, I will tell you exactly why we are doing this. Why? Oh, why? Made with Unity. Ooh, he went back to Unity after a... Uh, I want to turn... Hold on. The volume and mixer and I have to have a conversation. Now, yes please. Uh, the name of the game is Pobeda. Uh, in Russian it means victory. Yep, Pobeda! Let's go. We do this side, this side, this side, this side. Why does this seem to matter? Oh yeah, that's right. I can move it back and forth across. I move back and forth across the center line, and however far I move is how, and however long I hold it on that side, it will reflect. Thanks. Yeah, except wow. that the entire purpose of uh, the entire purpose and the existence of this thing is to this is actually the whole game, folks. Really, it is. There is no more. My final score is okay. We changed the mode. Okay, that was easy. Here's hard. There's one called Vodka, and here is Adolf. This is Adolf. Shit's all blurry. And you get small tanks going under the large tanks. I have no idea why. My score is now 30. Change mode. Vodka! That's right, folks. I'm drunk. I'm supposed to be drunk in this mode. This is a, this apparently this is a way that German tank command that uh, tank commanders are. And this game is very difficult to control in any mode. be on the center line and it goes boom. Change mode. One more and we're going to go from there. Then we're going to tell them to tell you what this is all actually about. Now I just, all I did here was take my hands off the freaking mouse. That's it. I've done nothing else. I'm taking my hands off the mouse to go look at the hard mode. The primary difference between these, including the map itself, is how blurry it is. That's it. That's all there is, and there ain't no more. I don't see a lot of victory going on here. It's an endless runner. That's all it is. We have the endless runner of endless runner. I'm just gonna stand there. I'll run out of life eventually. Anybody rem see now my score is 440. I scored 240 on uh, by moving around in easy mode. This is hard mode, and I just took my hand off the mouse and let it do its thing. Menu, and of course our favorite button ever, exit. Now, let me show you just a moment why we're actually having this conversation today. Uh, 
and we and there are going to be people that are going to that are going to look at this and and, and think that I've gone stupid. Okay, here's the story page for Pull Beta. It does not list the four cards I picked up in the last little bit. Representative of the genre shoot 'em up. That was not a shmup. That was a dodge it. This game was originally released on the App Store. Or not the App Store. On Google Play. And is still available there, I might add. Um, and your mission, whether you choose to accept it or not, is tap one into the screen or the other. Meh. Okay. Mostly negative. 13 reviews. This is not this, this review is not going to get any friggin' better. Okay. Pop Beta! Action Casual Indie. A gay, there is a review by a Russian guy. Yeah. Uh, and he says it's shit. The victory day that I was explaining to you. Yeah. He even mentions that song. Uh huh. Okay. Check it out, guys. Now, this is Popeta's store page. Or this is the important part of Popeta's store page. Not important that uh, Unknown wants a copy or NBC Company X, uh, both of which are so are, are, are friendly to the channel. So, take a look at where it says title. And then we have some genres and a release date. Yes? No? Maybe so. That's what we've got on this page. Now, let's do this. This is the store page for conclusion. This is the same area. Between genre and publisher, or between genre and release date, typically, on store pages, comes developer and publisher. Okay? Just to give you an idea, let's get a good game. And look at its store page. Fate Extella. We're going to cover this one later. I, it, it arrived as a key uh, just a little while ago. We will be playing it at some point in the near future. Uh, when exactly that video is going up, I'm not sure. I don't know when I'm going to schedule. I already released three of them uh, shortly before we started recording this. Okay. Title, genre, developer, publisher, release date. Now, let's go back here. What do you see? No developer, no publisher, only release date. Mm -hmm. Now, on the uh, on 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 the uh, on the Google Play Store. This game is listed as having been released by Red Comrade Games. This game was originally released with RCG in those two spots. Somehow or another, they managed, they managed to get those removed. They managed to remove them completely. If you, go, if you run over into uh, SteamDB, they actually have that information. Okay, it took us a while, myself, Sir Violent Death Reaper and I, or, and Reaper, uh, last night late, to determine who it was that made these games. Now, I've shown you five, star, I, I've shown you five, I've shown you four games, and a fifth, and, and a store page, that, and, now, the final store page, that wasn't connected, the only store page that I showed you that wasn't connected, to the rest of these games, that game is good. I know. I have it on PS4. I like the game. It is actually quite tasty. Uh, and in fact, I really think you guys should play it. That's me. But all four of these other games have one thing in common. Do you know what that thing is, Kitty? Oh, what it might possibly be? The developer. Ding, 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 ding. Got it in one. All right. Here's the deal, folks. I want my cookies. <laughs> exactly. 
Oh, you want some, you want milk with them cookies? Oh, you're gonna have to work harder for milk. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have to work a little harder for milk. We'll we'll talk about the milk later. So, here we go. This is the deal. We actually had to go through and do some trackbacks by way of emails and stuff. But we did not know until yesterday that what you see here was even possible. Okay, for some reason, Mr. Kotak, who owns Red Comrade Games and Tom Madeira, and of course he's a bloody name, he's responsible for this. In its entirety. All four games. He is responsible directly for all four games. And should folks be interested, should, should the appropriate parties be interested, I do have the chain of evidence. I have it all. Okay. This, in my opinion, is objectively wrong. This should not be able, this should not occur. Valve has pooched the screw. No. What, or is that? Yeah, no. Uh, Valve apparently, somehow or another, managed, managed to rape this particular gerbil and allowed this person here to cost three people several hours trying to work out exactly who owned it. Do you have the chain of events to present here? I, I, okay. I have, I do have all of this evidence. And if the appropriate parties want it, they are welcome to it. Okay. But I don't want to, but the problem is here is that we actually get, we're actually going to get into doxing territory if I put it up here on the screen. There is, and the sad part of it is, it actually required a bleeding spreadsheet to keep track of who, of what emails connected to where. That's right, folks. We track them all via email. There is a way to do that, even when you don't have, even when you don't have all all the information. We track them down. We track all four of these games through email to finally wind up with this one bit. Uncrowded is no longer on the store, but you can find the other three. You just won't find them under the same names. At all. The attempt here, we the attempt here, it is believed, it is expected, was to make sure that these games stayed separate, it was to pull the dizzy home and make sure that these games were separated enough that nobody would actually create links and make a video like this one. They didn't want to. They didn't want Pobeta connected to the other three. And unfortunately, all I had, all we really had to do was connect the first one and the last one. Pobeta's only been up. It has been up not even three months. And as soon as it hit the store, the uh, the developer and the the developer tag and the publisher tag were removed. Hmm. This is all sorts of wrong. Yeah, this is as they call that thoroughly dishonest. The public does need to know who made the game that they're at that that they're put that 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 they're buying. Okay. If we go look, I, I don't even. We don't. We don't talk about the. Uh, we don't talk about the reviews. There are seven positive reviews. Only one of which is in English. And that guy is called Dimitri. He says he's got. Uh, uh, he's got a bunch of pros on real graphics, immersive gameplay, insane gunplay, better hit rate than for Honor, which I find very unlikely. Best name a game could have, Pobeta, and a popular Hitler mode. Okay, not the Hitler mode's working right now, I think, because it was they were supposed to have the hair and mustache for the Hitlers to make them look like Hitler, to make the tanks look like literally Hitler. Um, and it's only con, it's only con is there are no hard bass songs in the game. I don't care. 
What I'm interested in is you tried to hide who you were, Mr. Kotak. We found you. You cost us several hours of our lives for us to get, for us to find you. And now here's your here here's the back end of that. Okay. Put your name, put the correct name on all your games. If you're go if you're going to make things and do shit and get criticized for it anyway, then at least have the balls to own it. If you're going to post Absolutely. epic fail, have the balls to own your epic fail. Do I that. Give you the impression that uh, hey, hey, says I'm not done. Shame. I'm yeah, I know. I saw. I'm still ranting. I'm still ranting at Kotak because he he needs to know this. For shame, Mr. Kotak. You are a disgrace. Not only to the idea of game developers because the stunt you pulled is even worse than that of Zonatron or Digital Homicide with four or five studio names. No. You actually tried to completely hide your video game from the public. And this is not acceptable. Kitty, I think you actually have a, I think you actually have a term for this for those Russian speaking individuals that do this shit. What was it? Do you remember? Uh, a term for this uh, developers? No, it's actually a phrase. Uh, they are, they, they are, uh, oh, you are a disgrace to the motherland. Now, just to make sure he gets it, in Russian, please. Pratik, ty polny pazor dla naszej rodziny. Что ты думаешь об русских? Who? That actually sounded nasty. Okay. So. Yeah. The public deserves to know what you've done. And now they will. Because I'm pretty sure that this is not going to stay put. That this story will not stay put. It will not stay put on my little backwater channel for very long. I'm pretty sure somebody else is going to pick this up, and probably fairly quickly. Either way, we have spent more than enough time to deal with this. To deal with this thing, you have made the you have made the mistake of a lifetime. You have one. You you have an opportunity to correct that. I recommend that you do that before before it, before the strike end effect takes hold. Right then. The word in Russian from shame is puzzle. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Pobeda is victory. This is not a victory for you, Mr. Kotak. We know who you are. You have a ch you have a chance here to make this right. I do recommend that you take it. And because of developers like these, all the other indie developers get buried. All developers. Yes, which is even worse, because there are some Russian developers that I have seen that have done really good work. Yes. And they wind up getting tarred with this brush because of shit like this. All right. That's it for us for this time. I think we've actually ranged a little too long. I uh, but between now and then, and the, well, between now and the next time I see you, be safe, be sane, and let's make games not only fun but bright again. Okay. Honesty is the policy. This.